Charles Darwin számára nagy kihívást jelentett. How little used organs came into existence, some of which even have an adverse effect on immediate survival, posed a great challenge for Charles Darwin. One classic example is the peacock's tail feather. The peacock has a magnificent, colorful tail feather, which is beautiful, but at the same time reduces his ability to escape, making him an easy prey to predators. This feather, according to the standard explanation, has evolved by the peahens' preference for larger, more colorfully feathered males, thus encouraging, through the selection process, the formation of this spectacular phenomenon. This reasoning, however, is completely hypothetical and lacks of evidence to this day. It is merely an idea. Moreover, once we further analyze the tail feather of the peacock, we might find the explanation not only hypothetical, but outright wrong. Let us look at the characteristics of the peacock's feather. We know its pattern. We should note, however, that the colors are not produced by pigments, but by a special optical effect called thin film interference that takes place in the barbules. The colors also change with the angle of view. As for its structure, there is a dark spot in the middle, similar to the pupil of the human eye. Around it, there is a lighter blue color like our iris, with a little tip pointing into the middle spot. Around it, we find a brownish color, surrounded by a yellow band. One feather of the bird is composed of many barbs. The colored patches on the feather are not made up of single colored barbs, rather every one of the individual barbs is multicolored and these colors make up the general pattern. The origin of all these unique features is increasingly hard to account for from an evolutionary point of view. It rather appears to be the realization of an artistic plan. Besides the question of the single feather's pattern and formation, when the peacock displays his tail feather, another larger drawing of the eye feathers emerges. Towards the perimeter of the tail plumage, the eyes get larger. They display a spiral pattern in accordance with the Fibonacci sequence, known from mathematics. That is, the individual eyes become part of a greater arrangement. Therefore, the complete tail plumage suggests a certain order and intelligent design. Darwin himself felt that the peacock feather, along with many other phenomena, is something that might prove to be a real challenge to his theory of evolution. It suggests such a strong sense of conscious design and creativity that it would be difficult to account for, by pure chance, mutation and selection. A year after the publication of his book, The Origin of Species, he wrote in a letter Nowadays, some of the formations in nature really upset me. The sight of a feather in a peacock's tail, whenever I gaze at it, makes me feel sick. It should be noted further that the peacock also needs to have a certain muscle, or rather a system of muscles, which enables him to spread the feathers by considering all these special characteristics. The peculiarity of the production of colors, that the eye pattern is made up of a complexity of barbules, and the intricate pattern of the peacock tail. We face a large mosaic, where even the individual pieces are works of art. Finally, when we include the specialty of the muscles, we get a structure 
that is hardly conceivable to have evolved gradually. It looks rather like a consistent plan that assumes an intelligent superior being with a particular aesthetic sense. Esthetic,